Hey y'all, this is Rhonda from Rhonda's Country Kitchen. And today uh, it is still all about Thanksgiving. Uh, we only have a few more weeks uh, until Thanksgiving. Um, and so I have been sharing some uh, good sides that you can fix for Thanksgiving. Um, you know, there's so many people that's asked for different uh, recipes. And so I've been trying my best to uh, get around to them all before Thanksgiving. Um, but today's uh, recipe is going to be green bean casserole. Um, some people uh, absolutely love green bean casserole. Some don't try it. They hear casserole is like, well, but um, I hope this is going to be a good one for you. Um, you know, <laughs> I've had people say, you know, I'm always the one that just brings paper plates and paper products. Um, I'd really like to surprise somebody and actually bring something to eat. So I hope out of some of these uh, recipes that I have kept it pretty simple for you, and um, it'll be something good that you can share with your family and your friends or your co-workers or whomever you're sharing Thanksgiving with. But um, there is so many ways to do a green bean casserole and I have done them all types of ways. But um, today I'm just gonna be showing you um, the way that I prefer. Um, I am starting with some fresh green beans. Now, you can feel free to just use canned green beans Lord, it's still gonna be good. But um, I do like using um, a little fresh beans. Now I have uh, cleaned them, I've uh, got them snapped. Um, of course they come whole and um, snip my little ends off, got them washed, got the little, uh, there's like a little line in green beans in the back. Sometimes you can just peel that little, uh, that little uh, strip of whatever you wanna call it off the back. Meanwhile, I've got them cleaned, um, but you feel free if you don't feel like doing all this, honey, you pop them pay, them cans and you uh, display it proudly. But um, I am um, going to start cooking these down for just a little bit because you don't want them to, uh, you don't want them to uh, be raw and put them in the oven. Now, some people like theirs a little uh, crunchy or what have you, but um, I like my green beans cooked fairly soft. So I'm gonna start off, I have some homemade chicken broth. Feel free to use the broth from uh, the store. Um, you can uh, just use the cans and eliminate this all together. But I'm gonna let this start getting hot in there, my little chicken broth. And um, I do add just a, a little bit of bacon when I start to fry my onions and mushrooms. Now, um, I am going to use the shortcut of some uh, cream of mushroom soup. You can totally make your own sauce uh, to go with this. You can do it as you want to do it. Like I said, there are so many ways you can do a green bean casserole and it's going to be good. It's all going to be good. Um, and everybody's going to enjoy it. So I'm going to start off. I got my broth getting hot here and I'm just going to let that, uh, kind of come up to a boil and I'll drop my, my green beans in. Now, I'm not going to cook them to death. Um, I'll kind of blanch them and, uh, just get them fairly soft because they are going to cook some more in the oven. And I tend to uh, prefer the fresh ones because sometimes the cans, you really don't know what you're getting in a can these days. I have um, bought so many cans of green beans and I pick stems and all kind of good stuff out of them. So um, I like just to see what I'm getting and uh, know what I got. Um, but anyway, and it don't matter which brand of green beans you get. I was like, okay, I ain't buying no more Walmart green beans. Um, we stick into the name brand, honey, and then you turn around and it's the same thing. So um, I'm going to just start with these little fresh beans and um, I've got me some little snippets of bacon. Now I'm just, this is just two slices of bacon that I just took my little kitchen shears and 
cut them up. And I'm just gonna get just a little bit of bacon. I'm gonna turn this on as well. And um, I'm gonna start frying my little bacon, take my bacon out, and then I'm gonna cook down these onions and some mushrooms. Now I've got one whole onion here um, sliced up, and then I've got about a cup and a half of mushrooms. I do like that in mind. Uh, if you don't like onions, just leave them out. It isn't, it's, it's gonna be okay. You can put onion powder and all kind of other stuff in it to replace it. Um, but it's gonna come together and um, I do put a little Parmesan cheese in mine. I know a lot of people do uh, cheddar cheese and that's good too. And I also have these uh, French fried onions. Um, I do have the Food Line brand, which is just as good. It was $2.99 versus uh, $6.29. So, uh, yes, thank you. I'll take the food line. But um, I'm going to show you how we mix it up, get this little stuff started over here, getting my pan hot, and um, we're going to roll from there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my bacon in here. Oh, she's sizzling. She's ready. We're gonna cook this down just a little bit. And like I said, I've only got two slices. Um, you can use it or not. And you can use butter in here just as well. And, um, but I'm just gonna take this little bacon out and I will put the bacon back in the casserole. But I'm gonna use this, uh, the bacon flavor, this bacon grease here um, to cook the, down the onions and mushrooms and a little bit of garlic. So that's where we're at with this. This is uh, getting nice and hot now. Thank goodness the thing about green beans that's so wonderful, it don't take but just a few minutes to prepare these. Um, I had snapped all these down in no time flat. I'm just go cook these. I remember growing up, my mom, um, she had us very busy in the kitchen. We, there was no getting out of it just because you were younger or what have you. You could uh, shell some peas. You could uh, do any of those little things. She'd sit you in the corner, peel potatoes, whatever. We did it all. And I'm so thankful that I did because um, I learned some valuable stuff. But um, if anybody knows, my daddy knows that man loves loves any kind of vegetables and I'm that way as well I do like vegetables but um if you want to make him happy you give him some vegetables but we always had a um, garden he would um, do a little garden every year but um people would bring us I mean like a bushel of butter beans and if you ever uh shell some butter beans or some peas oh my lord yeah the little thumbs would be so they would just ache and they'd be green and it would just be awful so uh, mom and dad would be like look somebody blessed us with this or y'all we'd be like look there's more blessings yay um we didn't love it but now we did love it when mama put it on the table so we got through it and um <laughs> so these green beans didn't do all this to me it's just uh just uh snap and go and i do love that now i'm gonna take this out of here this uh because it's it's already ready now I left about two tablespoons of that bacon grease in there and um, I'm gonna start off with my onions. They take a little longer. Just get them in there. Now I'm not gonna add a whole lot of salt, not yet, because um, I'm gonna put a little bit in here because you, you wanna flavor them, season them up. Um, but I did have some salt in this chicken broth already that I'm cooking these green beans down. And then you're gonna have this uh, this cream of mushroom soup too that has um, a good bit of salt in it. So I'm gonna uh, get my garlic ready here. I'll just throw it on the side. Now I'm gonna put some accent in these green beans. Just a little salt in this this onion. I'm just gonna cook them to they're translucent. They're you can just kind of see through them. I like to cook an onion real low and slow because that just brings those natural sugars out and it is just delicious. Put a little garlic powder, why not? A little onion powder. 
it's kind of my go-to for seasoning, y'all. Give these just a little stir. Give these beans just a little love. Now I'm just gonna cook these beans down. Lord, I done made a mess all over the stove. I'm just gonna cook these beans down maybe for about seven or eight minutes. Um, nothing, nothing major. I don't want them to get soft and mushy or anything, but um, I don't want that crunch on them. All right, my little onions is uh, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my mushrooms in here. I should have just waited to season them all, but I didn't. So here we go again, round two. Today I'm not as stuffy. Last week, y'all, I felt so bad. I ain't even gonna lie to you. And um, I was watching that video when I, it was hard to watch. I apologize. <laughs> I was a sniffling and a snorting and just sound like I was on my deathbed. But um, got through it. I'm feeling so much better now. Thank the good Lord. Just gonna let these cook a little bit. Y'all, I'm gonna add just a little pat of butter in here. There really wasn't a lot of the bacon grease and I just don't want it to stick or burn. Uh, that would just be a disaster burning all these good veggies here. I love me some onion and mushroom. I can just eat it. Like I said, I'm like my daddy. I love vegetables of all kinds. All right. Leave that out just in case we need some more, but I think we're going to be good on this. Just a little bit of garlic, just for some more flavor. Ugh. Here we go. Just about a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. I keep forgetting to get me some gar uh, some garlic cloves, so this will be good. Alrighty, my green beans are um, at the consistency that I like them to be. Uh, I cooked them for right at uh, eight, nine minutes. Uh, they are draining in this little bowl right here because you do want to get all the uh, the juice off of them. I don't know if y'all ever do this. I just stick a little bowl up under my strainer. But anyway, um, those are draining. And to my mixture now, I have got the onion and mushroom with the garlic and just that little bit of bacon fat that I cook this in. And I'm gonna add one can of, um, I've got the Campbell's cream of mushroom soup here. Found that on sale, hallelujah. Those are always a nice little bargain here. Normally around the holidays, they start uh, running some little sales. So just gonna mix this in here. <clears throat> Get it all mixed up for you. I'm gonna go ahead and just put these green beans in there. Now these are hot. I didn't cool them or anything. We'll just set this over to the side. I'll probably knock that over or do something with that. And um, I'm gonna put my cheese in here while it's kind of warm so uh, it can start melting that down just a little bit. And uh, they can start becoming real good friends. Let's see, I'm gonna go with about a cup of the, just the shredded Parmesan cheese. Now you can use the cheddar in yours. Um, you can put whatever you like, uh, Colby Jack. I've seen people put that in there, some uh, Monterey Jack. You just uh, do as your little heart tells you. But um, now I'm not making a real big casserole. It's just me and Russell. And um, this is yet again uh, one of the dishes that he normally bypasses at 
uh, Thanksgiving Day. So um, I told you I'm having just a little bit of fun, but um, getting him to eat these things that he don't normally eat because he normally don't even taste them. He really don't. But so far it has been a hit. He loved the sweet potato casserole. He loved the corn pie, which he loves corn. It don't love him. So we've established that. But um, we're going to see how uh, what he thinks of this green bean casserole because he normally hears casserole. He's one of those. Ooh, casseroles. So now I'll put my little crumbled bacon in there just for just another little, little, uh, a uh, taste of flavor and um, I'm going to add just a little bit of heavy whipping cream now you can add milk to yours um, I'm just going to go with maybe about a half a cup before I put some of these uh, good old french fried onions up in here um, now I, I bought me two bags I do love these things but um, I'm going to mix a little bit in my casserole and then I'm gonna cook it for a little minute um, I'm gonna cook this about 25 minutes and I do have my uh, oven heated up to 350 degrees and this doesn't take long at all it really doesn't I'm gonna add some more black pepper cuz uh, you know why not add a little black pepper now I'm gonna taste this because you want to make sure I didn't put um, I didn't put a lot of salt I did add some salt in my green beans uh, in that chicken broth um, because I don't want them to be just completely tasteless but um, I'm gonna just go taste me a little bite of this mmm it is not too salty hallelujah praise the Lord okay we're gonna put some of these french fried onions. I'm gonna do about a cup because I did get two bags so I could splurge. Normally I like to leave more of the crunchy topping on top. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can uh, put your little topping on and then add some shredded cheese on top and um, let that bake into that cheese melts down. Um, but I do like the little crunchy topping, not the cheese topping on it. So um, that's what we're going to do with this. But I don't put the french fried onions on before I put them in to bake 25 minutes. I pull them out about the last 10 minutes. So I'm going to let these cook for about 20 minutes. And then I'm going to pull it out and put these little crunchy french fries on. Or not french fries, Lord Jesus. French fried onions on top because them little suckers will burn I'm just telling you and um, I know from experience we won't go into how I know but <laughs> I know y'all so we're just gonna leave those on for last for the last few minutes of bacon I mean sometimes you have to really watch it like maybe five minutes then they are good to go you just want them a little golden brown they're already little you know french fried little uh golden onions so and i put this in a thinner casserole dish because if you go putting it in one small dish and you got a big old layer then um you know it, it takes a little longer to cook so i am just doing a thin little layer of this and i'm gonna throw it in the oven now this is what it looks like y'all and that didn't take no time to whip this up um, and especially if you had just green beans out the can uh, the cooking the green beans is what really uh, took the longest so uh, you can just mix it right out of the can I've done it a million times so I am not judging nobody um, I've just like I said had trouble getting uh, good green beans in the can if y'all know of a good brand I've tried about every one so um, let me know but anyway, I said, well, I'll just see what I got, know what I got. I've done touched them all, checked them all, picked them all, everything. So I'm going to put this in the oven. We're just going to go in for about 20 minutes, y'all. So um, then at 20, 20 minutes, I'm going to spread another little layer of these uh, French fried onions on top. And... Um, that will be that so uh, we'll get Russ in here give a little try like I said he's uh, probably not 
very ambitious about getting up in here and uh, trying this today. So I think he's gonna be surprised, y'all. Um, just like with the other ones, but anyway. Um, I will come back in just a few minutes. Okay, y'all, it has been 20 minutes. Always looking uh, scrumped and limp, just as my daughter would say. Um, I'm just gonna now put some of these French fried onions on top. Because um, like I said before, you don't need um, these on very long because they um, can get a little too brown and then that wouldn't be a good thing. Um, they end up tasting burnt. <clears throat> so, yeah, if I could get the top off of here. So, we'll just sprinkle these all around. Now, this has cooked long enough that uh, my cheese has melted. I kind of moved it around with my spoon just a little bit. And um, it's all melty and just a bunch of goodness is what it is. <clears throat> so, Put these on here. Put these back in the oven now. There we go. Um, for about five more minutes. And um, it should be good and ready by then. So, I'm gonna chunk her in the oven. All righty, five more minutes. Just five more minutes. Well, it's been five minutes, y'all. It is out the oven. It's got those little crunchy onions on it. It's just a bubbling. It's all happy. So I am going to dish rustle up some and get him in here to taste it. And um, I am hoping that y'all are going to like this for your Thanksgiving um, <coughs> side dish. Um, y'all don't forget to go look at the first video I ever made. It was a sweet potato cake. That is absolutely a winner for Thanksgiving Day. It is so, so good. And um, you don't normally see um, the way I make the um, sweet potato cake. You don't normally see that recipe because I use raw sweet potatoes versus the cooked and mashed. Y'all, it is so good. You're gonna have to try it. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm gonna get this dished up. We're gonna get Russ in here and um, I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for James Russell to get on in here and uh, taste this uh, fabulous casserole. Hey, I told him how. Hey, I told him how this was your absolute favorite. It is my absolute favorite, uh, absolute favorite casserole. I'm, I'm gonna just step it. back because God's about to get him. <laughs> He's about to get God. He does well, not. Well, I mean, you know. I can't say it ain't, no, I, I, don't, no, I don't eat a whole lot of green bean don't, casserole. No, don't. That's his problem, he hasn't tried it. Well, so. we don't need to see green beans. I love green beans. I love mean, on them, what yeah. else we got? Um, we got some Parmesan cheese in it. We I got like mushrooms and I onions, like a little bacon, just two slices. <laughs> well, I, I ain't even got to tell you, I'm gonna love little, this. A uh, little cream of mushroom. Let me try Just dig on in yeah, there, dig on in there. Get you some. Very good. It's very good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. All these dishes, y'all, he been bypassing. He's just been missing out. All these years, he's been missing out. Got a onion in it, don't it? It's got onion and mushroom and a little garlic. It's got all the good stuff in it. That's good. Very the crunchy good. onions mm -hmm. is delicious on top. Yep. Well, I can say that I don't want to get struck by nothing, okay? Okay. But it's a very good casserole. Very well, good, good. It would be up there. I mean, maybe not my nice. favorite, but you know, it's up there for sure. Crunchy. I'll take that, y'all. Cheesy. It's very it good. Is. It really is delicious. It is the. Uh, um, if you make it that Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be down. All, All right. Be fighting me over some food. Y'all, yes. Eat no turkey and dressing, and that be it. <laughs> and y'all see how simple it was. I want you to uh, watch these videos and really just believe that you can do this because it is very simple. I try to make it simple. Um, if you try and impress somebody taking it to, to dinner and um, you don't have to bring solo cups and plastic hefted dishes. Yeah, try. <laughs> try. Take yourself you a know, dish. 
take right. yourself a casserole of some sort. Yep. And um, y'all make that. People enjoy it. It's very good. Yeah, it really is. It's good. Mm -hmm. But uh, thank y'all so much for watching. Yeah, um, if you it. try it, please let me know. Yeah, um, let her know in the comments. She, I do, I she love loves it. Interaction. I do, I she love it. loves the comments and loves hearing that people try recipes and stuff. Yes. And uh, we got a whole Thanksgiving playlist out. Um, we do. You know, not just the stuff that she's put out the last couple of weeks, but mm -hmm. went back and put some stuff that she'd done before and. Uh, you know, check it out and get ready. It's a couple of weeks. Thanks it's going to be here before you know it, y'all. Yep. Yep. Well, until next time. Peace.